what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Is everybody ready to go? Let's proclaim the greatest radio show. And Stella and Johnny Parlay with the facts. So relax, grab a drink, then let's get back. Welcome back, fans, to another segment of I Don't Even Know What the Hell's Going On Because My Producer Won't Tell Me. I'm your host, Jim Sella. You're listening to The Spread. And Dash, what do you got me doing here? I'm trying to eat my salami. All right, well, here's the thing. You All like right. sports, correct? I think right. everybody figured that part out. And I don't run a music podcast. You, you like movies as well. You did the top whatever movie segment mm-hmm. there. How about now, I'm go- either going to name a movie or I'm going to name an athlete. And you're going to have to either say what movie they're in or which athlete is in that movie. We'll try. It's going to interrupt my salami. Yeah, eating that damn salami. <laughs> what do you got? Let's go. All right. For this one, it, it starts off pretty easy here. All right. Bull Durham. What movie was Penny in? Penny Hardaway. Space Jam. Wrong. I know. He was in Blue Chips. There you go. Yeah. Great Second movie. one, Jordan, Union and Barkley were in? Space Jam. There you go. Who was in Ace Ventura? Dan Marino and Tone Loke, even though he's not an athlete. Dan Marino should die of gonorrhea <laughs> and rotten hell. You got any more of that gum, Ace? That's none of your damn business, Dan. All right. What was Bob Euchre in? Mm, Mr. Belvedere. He wasn't Mr. Belvedere. What movie was he in? Major League 1 and 2. There you go. Was he in 3? I don't know. 3 was a horrible movie. Yeah, 3 was terrible. 3 was. Rube Baker was like the best actor in 3. I think they were in the minor leagues in 3. Yeah. Garbage. How, how, can, how can they just move to the minor leagues? It makes no sense. It was Jefferson Darcy, the guy who played Jefferson Darcy. He was like the owner of the Twins. That was funny. All right, we're going to go with the show on this one. All right. What two baseball players were in Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Chase Utley and Ryan Howard. Boom. I want to have a catch with Chase. What movie? Well, this guy was in more than one movie, but what, what was the more famous movie that Mike Tyson was in recently? The Hangover. Boom. Who was the star actor in He Got Game? Oh, f- I don't remember. He still plays. Ray Allen? Ray Allen. Score! I didn't even know that was a guess. I need more salami. Name? <laughs> Look at you with this. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> if you like salami, tweet me at bet underscore the spread because I love it. What else you got for me? Name a movie Lawrence Taylor was in. Um... Any given Sunday. There it is. And the Water Boy. Yep. O.J. Simpson was in what movie? Naked Gun. Which one? One, two, and three, I think. He was in Naked Gun two and a half. Okay. Who was in the original Naked Gun? A baseball player. Oh, man. He actually was hypnotized to grab the gun from under second base. This one I don't remember. Chuck Knobloch. Reggie Jackson. Mm, Reggie Jackson. Okay. Chuck Knobloch. Who was in The Longest Yard? Uh, Nelly. He is not an athlete. You said music, too. No. I Michael said Irvin. Michael Irvin. Nelly's an athlete. He was an MTV rock and jock. He dominated. Who played in... Nelly was actually drafted by the St. Louis Cardinals, so in your yeah, face. Yeah, Nelly was a good athlete, but he's not a professional athlete. Okay, I'll give you that. Who played with Jean-Claude Van Damme in the movie Double Team? Wasn't it Double Impact? Oh, no, Double Team. Was that the one with Dennis Rodman? There it is. Doing pretty well. What movie was Bill Cowher in? <clears throat> Batman. Was he? Yeah, he was the coach on the sidelines in the last Batman when they blew up the field. Mm. Well, he was actually in the stands in a movie. Waterboy. There you go. With um, Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. He said he was the Waterboy resembled Greg Lloyd. What movie was Brett Favre in? Uh, Something About Mary. Nice. What movie did John Madden show up in? Little Giants. Good job. Who else was in that movie? Emmett Smith. Bruce Smith. Uh, Yeah, I don't even have it written down. I knew Emmett Smith was one of them. Let's get it going. All right. This one one I may stump you on. You're hiding your computer like you're a five-year-old in class. 
Don't let well, me see it. I just pulled it. it up so I can read it. Thank you. What right. movie was Terry Bradshaw in? It was an old one. No, it's not an old one. Well, I, I old compared to what? It's not very old. It's a stupid movie with Matthew McConaughey. Mm. Man, I know what it is, but I forget. I don't know the name of it. I figured you'd forget the name because it's such a garbage movie. Yeah, is it just I? Uh, all right, all right, all right, because that's what Matthew McConaughey <laughs> says all the time. Final answer. I don't, I don't know. Idea. Failure to launch. Mm. Yep. Stupid. I think Bradshaw was actually in a uh, movie when he was playing too. Oh, I'm sure he was in other movies. How about? Do you remember the movie Airplane? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Do you remember the basketball player that was in that movie? Was it Will or um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? You got it. Who was in Police Academy? Um, Ed Too Tall Jones. No, but you're on the right track. I don't remember. Bubba Smith. Oh yeah, that's his name. All right. How about Kingpin? <clears throat> Bill Murray was in that movie. Bill Murray was. Let's see, uh, Randy Quaid. Woody Harrelson. The guy was named Skidmark in the movie. He was a real douche. Was it Jason Seahorn? No, that was uh, Dumb Dumber, Dumb and Dumber. This guy was a pitcher. Roger Clemens. There you go. Who was in Kicking and Screaming with Will Ferrell? I don't know. I've never seen that movie. You, okay, Mike Ditka. Mike Ditka. Mike okay. Ditka was in Kicking and Screaming. Oh, poor Mike Ditka, because that's just terrible. Terrible. Who made an appearance in Grown Ups 2? I've never seen Grown Ups 1 or Grown Ups 2, so I don't know. He was pretty funny in this movie, actually. Shaq was in oh, Grown Ups 2. I hate he Shaq. He was a cop, and he was pretty funny. I did see the previews for that, so I should have known that. I've seen the preview with Shaq. Believe him, I hate Shaq. How about the movie with Will Ferrell and Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg? The other guys? The other guys? Yeah, what about it? Who was in that? The Rock? Uh, Oh, we're not counting wrestlers. Wrestlers are actors. I don't know, Samuel L. Jackson? Mark Wahlberg shot him. Oh, Derek Jeter. There okay. you go. Who showed up in the movie Dodgeball? Not a foreign major sport guy. Lance Armstrong. Nice, man. All right, this guy was in several movies, including Dumb and Dumber, D2, and Me, Myself, and Irene. In Dumb and Dumber, he played Seabass. That was Jason Seahorn. No. Kick his ass, Seabass. Are you sure it wasn't Jason Seahorn? Yes, I looked all this up. I don't know this off the top of my head. What other movies was he in? He played in D2 in Me, Myself, and Irene. He is a hockey player. A good hockey player. I don't know if he still plays. I think he, he may be done. What did he play in Me, Myself, and Irene? Uh, I'm not sure. i just seen he was in these other movies, but in Dumb and Dumber, he was Seabass. You know the part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I always thought that was Jason Seahorn. No. Well, I have no idea that. Cam Neely. Are you sure it was Cam Neely? I'm going to have to look that up after this segment. To you make can sure. look it up. I will. All right. Uh, I, th I think that might be all you know. Do you know any movies Jim Brown was in? The Running Back Jim Brown? The Running Back Jim Brown. No, I don't know. He wasn't in anything good. He was in Any Given Sunday. And A oh, yeah, Hundred right. Rifles was a popular movie back in the late 60s and he was in Mars Attacks. I wasn't alive in the late 60s but okay. All right so you did pretty well. How about Kazam? <laughs> oh yeah yeah Shaq. Blah. Shaq's Anyways, awful. Here, here's a little note for you. In the Goonies, uh, Sloth, you know Sloth and the hey Goonies? Hey you guys. Do you know that guy was a number one overall pick in the 1973 NFL Draft and a two-time Super Bowl champion? No, who was it? Jim Kelly? His name was John Matuzic. John Matuzic, huh? This guy was actually banned from the Oakland Raiders facility because he, he beat up the offensive coordinator after they traded their star tight end. Nice. That, what, did he really, was he really that ugly? No, he was no, I thought he may have just got hit in the head. He was something. in other movies, too. He was like a, he was an actor. Hmm. Well, he was a pretty ugly bastard. Well, that wraps up our segment of I didn't know what the hell was going on, but I dominated it because I'm the best at everything in the world. Uh, thanks, Dash, for trying to put together something to stump me, and then I make you look stupid. Fans, follow us at bet underscore the spread. Uh, send me any questions about sports and movies you want. I know the answer. Remember that stupid show, Stump the Schwab on ESPN? Yeah. Why well, stump that bastard? I'm way better than him. He don't know nothing. All right, well, how about this one? All right, here we go. Bombata 
in Conan the Destroyer was played by who? Arnold Schwarzenegger. There you go. Wilt Chamberlain. Believe it! Take care. Later.